One word to define impact investing over the past 10 years, expansion. Uh, impact investing in AUM has grown to reach more than 1 trillion US dollars. It was in 2022 and it keeps expanding. Uh, even in 2023, which was a tough year for the rest of the industry, impact finance kept growing during that year. Across segments, institutional, but also wealth, private and retail. Looking back, the most significant achievement for impact kindness over the past 10 years has been to prove that it works, that one can reach great and real world positive outcome while meeting the financial objectives that were sold to investors in the first place, thereby combining a value proposition with financial return together with impact return. Room for improvements for the next decade. Number one, democratization. We need to ensure that more and more investors, including savers, get access to good impact products with the safety that they need to have, but also the extra financial characteristics that they are looking for. Second challenge to reach in the next decade is to um, communicate more broadly and keep sharing the common foundation that each and every impact finance strategy should share. What impact team have gained prominence over the past years? The first one I think about is of course climate change. It's both due to the magnitude of the challenge we face but also due to the fact that this is positive, that there are more and more bankable projects. Now, if I think about a more trendy teams that I expect will grow over the next few years, it's of course on biodiversity and natural capital as a whole. This will remain one of the central team in high demand from investors in the years to come. To ensure that our impact investment have gone beyond ticking the boxes to genuinely create real-world impact, Amundi has developed a proprietary framework with the three pillars any impact strategy should rely on. Number one is intentionality. Second is measurability. Third, additionality. Now, there are no silver bullets, but it's all about identifying and activating all the levels that you have at your disposal. Innovation impacts industry needs to address some of the issues that we face, some of the challenges that we faced over the past few years. Number one is regulatory development that are needed to ensure that we can dem democratize our product and really distribute them more massively to retail investors that want to play their part by mobilizing their savings. Number two is ensuring that stringent standards emerge and are shared by a broad constituency of investors across the world. Looking forward, we expect private capital to keep playing a potentially critical role in complementing uh, what public actors can do. They can help establishing new norms on emerging techniques. They can help financing risky projects. And in any case, they will complement public funding uh, as the, the investments that are needed are so huge that public uh, actors and governments cannot address them all themselves. The most rewarding aspect of my job in dealing with impact finance is to mobilize uh, the tools and the capabilities of a global player like MD to make a difference. We mobilize our emerging market platform, we mobilize our real asset platform, a wealth of investment professionals with deep knowledge on different issues to generate positive world outcome. One of the challenges that we face is ensuring that all the solutions we structure serve the needs of the end clients to get their ways uh, the ability to reach the impact that were meant to be reached in the first place.